Hey guys, welcome to another bonus vlog. I think I made it happen again this week, which makes me very happy. Um, so I have been up to so many like crafty things this week. I can't even begin to tell you. Um, and I also have an update on the wardrobe situation. So the lamp came and like I expected, I don't love the shade. However, I am so impressed with the quality of this. Um, so my friend who also ordered one of these, we were saying, what's the harm in just trying to paint this the color we want? So I'm actually thinking I might try that. I also noticed that the lamp shade in the other room was about the right size, but you can see that the way this has to attach is with this part at the bottom, whereas this one is at the top. And if you switch it, it tapers the wrong way. So it looks a little bit silly. However, I think the color is a bit better. Anyway, so I'm thinking I'm going to go take this downstairs and paint it. Maybe that's a little bit crazy, but I think it'll be good. And if not, we buy a new lampshade. How good does the painted lampshade look? Oh my goodness, it looks better than I expected. And it looks so much better with the base. So you can still see all of the beautiful linen texture. And looks really good. I just need to touch up kind of like this rim area. You can see there's some spots that need a little more paint, but super happy with it. Also something that I was surprised by, and when this lamp came, I actually thought that it was broken, but this adjusts so you can make sure that it is straight, um, but also you put this on and then there is this piece that screws on to hold it steady. So overall, very happy with that. And I also ordered a table that is going to go here and then the lamp is going to sit on top of it. That's what the plan is. So yesterday I ended up moving the wardrobe here because when I measured like the main section of the wardrobe, it was going to fit there. Um, but then as I put it there, I realized that the trim wasn't going to fit. So I just took the trim off, which was super easy. It's not damaged, but then the legs don't fit. Anyways, um, I have a friend coming tomorrow and then I double checked with my neighbor. So my friend my neighbor and Chris and I are going to get this upstairs hopefully tomorrow. But what I need to do is take the doors off tonight and then take all of the shelving out. Um, so that is the plan. And then hopefully we should be able to get it upstairs. I just think that we'll be able to angle it on the banister and then this part can hopefully like lean over the banister if that makes sense. That was the kind of suggestion I was given. Also, I received a PR package from Nest the other day. So let me show you that. So I'm not sure if you're familiar with Nest candles and other scents. Um, I'm familiar with their candles, but they asked if they could send me one of their wall diffusers um, to try out. So I was super excited for that. So it's like a plug-in scent thing. Hold on. Sorry, this is taking too long. There we go. So this plugs into your wall. And then there are different scents that you put in with it. Um, and they sent me all of their popular scents. So this one's grapefruit. It smells incredible. So when you buy the little diffuser kit, it comes with the grapefruit, I believe. And then they sent their other scents too. So bamboo also smells incredible. And Moroccan amber. So I have five of these little like scent things to put into this now. So I am looking forward to having that plugged in. I'm really tempted to go with the bamboo scent, um, so I think that's what I'm going to do, but I think this would make such a great little housewarming gift um, or something like for Christmas. I guess we're a little bit early for that, but really excited to try this out. I believe Sephora sells this as well as Nordstrom and all those other places, but I'm always um, tempted to get these through Sephora, especially when they have their sales on. Um, in the fall and in the spring. I just want to show you how the wardrobe looks. So I took the doors off, no problem. And the shelves were actually a little bit harder. And you can see I scratched up all the paint. So rather than fixing it now, I decided I was going to leave it like this. 
Um, and then once it's moved, I've got to put the shelves back in, doors back on, and then the trim that I previously took off. So it's all ready to move and I'm feeling super anxious about the whole thing, but I'm hoping it's going to be okay. And, um, I also gave it a bit of a wipe down so that it wasn't super dusty for those who are helping us move it. You guys, it made it. And honestly, it was so easy. So the three guys carried it basically to the top of the stairs. And then I was up here and helped like move it over onto its side and then carried it over and put it up. But honestly, it was so much easier. Like it's laughable how easy it was. Would never have expected that. So now I'm going to put the doors back on, then work on the shelves and paint. Um, and then I also need to put those trim pieces on because I took them off. So yeah, but it was so much lighter. I wanted to show you the wardrobe in its new home with the doors on. So I'm standing in the stairs right now. So this is the view you see when you come up the stairs. And there was nothing in this hallway before. So I'm thinking of putting some art there plus this and then changing out the light. And it's going to look super cute in this little area. Um, and it does not block the view or the path to the bathroom at all. You can see it's pushed pretty much against the wall right now and you can still clearly see the bathroom door. Um, so that is great. I had to put the trim pieces on cause I took them off to try and see if I could put it beside the fireplace. Um, so they're just holding it on and you can see I've still got some cleanup to do, uh, but it's looking really good. I touched up the paint a little bit because if you remember, it was all scratched. I still have a little more to do, but I'm looking forward to filling it with all of my extra toiletries and linens and all of that good stuff. Um, I'm thinking I am gonna put a shelf here. I could put the rod back, but I just don't know that that's very useful um, in a linen closet. So it's kind of where I'm at, but I really love having it here. It looks so good and I'm so glad that it ended up not being a huge hassle once I had all of the muscle to get it up here. So now that the wardrobe's up here, I wanted to kind of show you some other DIYs that I got up to this week, but it's going to look a little confusing because basically I wanted to do some kind of found vases and give some vases a makeover, but I started this like a few weeks ago and rather than include like two second snippets of that throughout like three or four vlogs. I thought it'd be better to combine it all. That's exactly what I've done. Um, so if you wonder why I have switched outfits in all of these videos a million times, that is because it's been three weeks since I probably started it. Um, but I finally got it finished. I think one of the vases I'm gonna potentially turn into a lamp. So that is gonna be in another vlog, but the rest will be in this one. So hopefully you're okay with that. Um, and I'll also give you a sneak peek in another project that I randomly started on the weekend because this has been the week of random projects. I thought before I showed you the other project, I would just quickly give you a sneak peek at this one. So I think I showed this in another vlog, but this is like a little entry table sort of thing. Um, and I was going to paint it, but I decided to try sanding it down. And you can see the color that's kind of showing through. And I did this all by hand and this was really hard. So I ended up ordering an orbit sander because previously I borrowed my neighbors. So I'm hoping that this coming weekend, I'll be able to finish this off. And I actually really like the color of the wood. So I think that's gonna look great. Um, and then I'm gonna switch out the handles. And I actually think I have some left over from the kitchen that I might be able to use. Something that I'm working on today is doing a DIY on this vase. This is a vase that came with a floral arrangement that Chris's mom got and when they moved, they didn't want it. And I thought, you know what? I am going to cover this with plaster and paint it and make it look rustic and give it, give it a bit of a new life. Um, so that is what I'm going to work on. And I actually think I have another item that I will do something similar on. So let me go grab that. And I also have a second DIY that is completely different that I'm also hoping to do this week. We're on a journey 
Looking back on the things that we've taken for granted But feels like we're learning To be better without what's been holding us back now Let's move closer to a new history Find out what we can be together Take my hand and we will conquer the world This is our final chance Now I'm going to sand this down a little bit so that you can see it's got quite a thick texture. So I'm just gonna use some sandpaper. It's very dusty, so definitely do it outside. I never explained the mixture I use for the baking soda and paint, but it gives it this kind of pottery-like texture to it. So it's one part baking soda to two parts paint, and I just eyeball it. I just put it in a container and mix it up and paint it on. I don't think that it needs to be exact or anything, but that is the mixture if you want this kind of look to kind of spruce up some of your old vases. The next step of this whole vase project is the dirt phase. So I'm using the can that I had for the concrete, but um, you don't need to do that. I just didn't have another can. Um, so I just scooped some dirt from the garden and I am going to add a little bit of water and then I'm gonna rub it all over these. And then when they dry, I'm gonna rub it off. I'm not sure if you saw these ones um, during the time lapse, but this one and this one are looking really good. I'm really excited for this one. Um, but once the dirt is dry, I'm going to try to rub it off a little bit and um, I will show you what that looks like. I really wasn't happy with the bigger pot. Um, so I ended up mixing some of the baking soda with some black paint, um, kind of repainting it and it's still wet as you can see, but I'm gonna try and rub dirt on it now. See, I left some of like the lighter color underneath and then I'm gonna try and sand it when it's dry, I think. I don't know, we'll see. It's an experiment. Maybe I shouldn't have painted it in the first place. I just came out to work on these again, so I wanna show you what I did. So this one was very, very black. So what I ended up doing after the dirt was on there, I ended up sanding it down a little bit and it gave it more of a dusty finish, but then, I've never seen anyone do this, but I put flour on it and just rubbed it on. So like anything that's on there is now pretty much like not just gonna fall off. Um, and then because I liked how this turned out so much, I did a little more sanding on this one, which I was already pretty happy with, but you can see I chipped the bottom um, because I'm doing this outside. So I've got to fix that, but other than that, I'm really happy with how this turned out. You guys remember what it looked like. I'll put a picture on the screen, but I'm really happy with that. This one maybe will look good on a bookcase sitting on top of something, but I think generally it's better without the lid. So I'll probably just put the lid in storage and just have it sitting like that or maybe put some greenery in it. So here's my two second styling. Um, so I got some olive branches to put those in here. I had some lavender that's dried to put in there, I think. Maybe it would be better if it was a bit longer, which I do have. And then this is just a faux plant from Ikea. So I think those all look really good. I'm actually pretty happy with that. And I'm really happy with these two, especially this one because I tried before and didn't like how it looked. And I think it looks way better, but I think I told you guys, I was thinking of potentially turning this into a lamp. Hear me out. But I think it would look like a found lamp and I think I can do it. And I'm sure you guys believe in my crazy shenanigans because I always work out. So maybe I'll give that a go just for fun. I just tried all the branches in this one and that also looks absolutely fantastic. So probably we'll leave that one with all the branches and then the other black one, we will try and make it into a lamp. 
I'm gonna wrap things up here. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the vase DIY. I know those vases, the found aged look, aren't for everyone, so I understand if you absolutely hate it, that is okay. Um, but I am really glad that I could show you the outcome of the wardrobe and how it finally made its way up here, but I haven't um, put anything in it yet and I still want to get a new light and picture frames and stuff, so I will show you that when I actually get to it um and we are supposed to go on a date night tonight to somewhere really pretty but it's supposed to rain so hopefully if it happens i will show you some of that on sunday um and if not i will have a bunch of other projects such as that table um and maybe the lamp if i get to it so you can look forward to that on sunday enjoy the rest of the week